Hey, welcome, Michael David David Rappaport. Rappaport, better known as a white man that's always in black folks' business, always sticking his nose in that in, in that disgusting, scarred up, disease looking mouth wherever he goes. Michael, what, 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 first off, first off, let's start. Let's start off. Let's let's let, let's go here. First of all, Michael, when I look at your neck, it looks like it is lacking a lot of moisturization. I will never forget when you went over there on Andy Cohen. By the way, why you always around there? On Andy Cohen show sucking Andy dick for airtime because don't nobody give a fuck about you. Don't nobody want you on that show. Don't nobody even know really who you is or where you from. Besides this movie right here, American History X, where you were, you where you are a Jewish man who played the role of a of a of an American of a, of a white supremacist of a Nazi, whatever the hell I mean, whatever the hell you want to call that. You was a disgrace then, and now you are a disgrace to the black community and even the white community in general. We trying to figure out what in the hell is wrong with you, Michael Rappaport? Who in the hell? Sports a cold sore for 25, 35, 40 years. I thought a cold sore only lasted six to eight weeks. You know, you take your medicine and go away. As a matter of fact, even when you feel it itching, you feel it burning, you go to the doctor, you say, hey, let me get a little bit of Valtrex, and then in a few days, it's gone, and they don't nobody even know. I'm trying to figure out why in the hell you have sported literally a cold sore for 25 years, but you had something to say about Kenya Moore and her ashy ankles. I'm trying to figure out why your skin looks like it has not seen moisture since 1972, but you had anything to say about Kenya the Moore. Or don't stick your nose in your dry ass, wrinkled up skin wherever it don't belong. You got that wonder bread, wonder bread, that wonder bread news. We got that wonder bread, wonder bread, wonder bread, wonder bread, that wonder bread news, that sore ass news, that herpes simplex news. We got that wonder bread, wonder bread. That Wonder Bread news before I put your fat ass on the doctor say we died and heal this shit up anyway. Shout out to Michael Rappaport and Kevin Durant. Let me let, put this picture up here. The real KD. We love you, Cash Doll. But there's only one KD. Hell, Cash Doll. We, we can't call you KD till we know your real damn age. And you're still trying to tell us that your ass is real, Cash Doll. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Michael David Rappaport has sat there and rang his mouth one too many times. He then sat there and then got... Kevin Durant all riled up, and now that Kevin Durant has clapped back in your DMs, Michael David decided to go ahead and get his attorneys and get the attention of social media because I guess you thought that these DMs, these alleged homophobic DMs, is going to make us feel some kind of way uh, uh, about Kevin and not you. No, 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 we don't. We don't give a damn. We're not mad that he clapped back at you. Don't clap if you don't want the clap back, but I'm sure you know you've had the clap a lot of times, so you would know exactly what I'm talking about allegedly. But anyway, I say all that Michael Rappaport to say that. Man, we thought you would well, they I, I never invited you to my barbecue. I never invited you to my cookout, but the people invited you to the cookout. The people thought you was really one of us, but a lot of y'all be coming around us just to be ops. How in the hell you gonna sit there and talk about this man and get mad when he get in your DMs and call you a bitch and say where your address he wanna pull up? He didn't blast you on social media, he didn't put your information out there. This could have just been something that was squared between two men, but you knew that you was gonna get Molly Wap and Monkey Stomp all up and down the corner in the curb, but you don't want to get your ass beat on camera so you called the attorneys and now you done got Kevin Durant fined for $50,000 from the NBA shout out to the NBA I got a question for y'all how in the hell is it that you gonna find this man $50,000 for something that happened off off of the court and not even on your court goes to show that they even when they start shit white people still had a damn white damn privilege but anyway I say all that to say that and you know you 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 did your best to be relevant and now you are relevant now you got the attention that you have always saw you didn't get it through your acting roles you didn't get it through your stand up you didn't get it through nothing you didn't get it through no 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 accomplishment that you could be proud of but you was gonna get some attention because he was gonna put stick his foot up your white ass and it is what it is all right so I gotta diagnose you with a lack of career we ain't heard really nothing of any significance about you or from you since American History X and you've been hanging on to every black reality show ever since then. Um, I also got to diagnose you with entitlement. I guess you figure because you stick your dick in a half black woman every other night. Oh, I'm sorry, probably two to three times a week. Oh, I'm sorry, probably two to three times a year or a month. As a matter of fact, I don't even think she let you hit that like that no more. Because if you was really hitting it like that on a regular basis, you wouldn't have time to be watching Real Housewives of this, Married to Medicine or that, and all up and through these NBA players businesses and then running like a little biatch and calling your attorneys as soon as they ready to whip your ass now now while the doctor sent her talking shit i'd have called my attorneys too <laughs> 
But I wouldn't have been messing with the people in the first place. I say my jokes on here, and then I I, I, I cut the camera off. I get in my beige cheer. I say what I got to say, and then I'm through. I'm not hopping in these people's DMs. You the one that go back and forth with them. Anyway, I also got to diagnose you with being a male Karen, better known as a Brad, because as soon as a real black man stepped to you and was sick of your shit, your accent left. Where the f did your accent go, Michael? Michael, you was ready to call the police and the manager at Chipotle at the same time damn town all because this man said he wanted to beat you up for that shit that you was talking and last but not least i gotta diagnose you uh, for, for being a snitch and we know that snitches get dishes so part of the first part of your script is that you're going to apologize to the real kd on your social media i want you to get down on your knees and say that you will never ever ever disrespect this man again you won't speak of this man's name again and just beg and hope to god that he don't get nobody or pay nobody to whoop your ass in these streets we don't want them dropping a the dime on you like they dropping the dime like they dropped the dime on charlemagne i mean at least charlemagne was still skinny enough back then to run and you know he you know you know at the end of the day Charlemagne is still a negro from mom's corner so he he got them twitching them twitching jeans in his leg i know if somebody dropped a dime on your overweight cold sore last year life it'll fall apart as a matter of fact i, don't, I wouldn't even want to send my niggas on my homies to beat you up because i don't i don't even want them catching whatever the hell you got whatever you got up in your mouth you know what i am now convinced as a matter of fact that covid didn't start in china covid started from the crack of your lips and the crack of your mouth why you got all why you and andy corn always got this spit coming out your motherfucking mouth why you and Andy Cohen always oh, sounded like I need a drink of water. Why you in? Why you in a white man just got a yuck ass mouth and just got why? Why, why y'all talk so much shit? What is wrong with you and Andy Cohen? And what do you add to that show over there? Because ain't nothing you said that was funny. And as a matter of fact, you ain't even a good review or anything to hang on because you ain't got shit. Last but not least, I'm also going to uh, 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 prescribe you some Valtrex to put on that cold sore um, that you've been working with for a long time, you know. You know, here's the thing, Michael. You know, we see people and they have freckles and it's like, oh, that's cute. You know what I'm saying? Or people, you know, they might have a scar. They may have a little lazy eye or whatever. Oh, a glass eye. You know, storm doesn't discriminate. Some people, you know, I got a chip too. We all got that thing about us where it's kind of like that thing, but you know, that thing that's thinking on your lip is not cute, so I'm going to prescribe you something to go away. I know you ain't been weird about it for too long because you was too busy worried about Kenya Moore's ashy ankles but I'm worried about that that crusty dusty nasty disease filled ass bottom lip or lack of lips of that maybe that's why you always saliva out the side of your fucking mouth because you ain't got no fucking lips and ain't got no sense and ain't got no career if it ain't for black women fighting on tv and and, and you talking about athletes uh, i'm sorry big strong black men something that you would never ever be in your fucking life uh anyway Michael, Brad, take this script, leave my office, and have a good day. What y'all think about that?